LeBron! <laughs> so, you know, this is King Watch on the Hoops and Brew set because TPJ didn't feel like setting up the King Watch set. So because of that, let's crack open another beer. And honestly, we I mean honestly, like who cares if we do it on I'm still keeping that King Watch brand and it'll cover up the table. Uh, actually we got Lakers logo. Should I break out the Lakers logos and put the little Laker logo on the table? But no, but seriously, um this is King Watch on Hoops and Brews. Um and actually that's what I'm Because we don't feel like because we don't feel table. like moving the table. So um, it's King Watch on Hoops and Brews. Yeah, it's King Watch on Hoops and Brews. Magic. Um, you know, you know, we talked about earlier on hoops and brews, um, but but now this is King Watch on hoops and brews, and literally for the podcast version, I'm just gonna put the King Watch like once the, once you say LeBron, the King Watch music is gonna play for the rest of the episode. <laughs> but 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 this is King Watch. Oh, this is King Watch on hoops and, on hoops and brews. Um, now that Magic has hugged the players. <laughs> It's shown love. Magic now that LeBron, I mean, you know, you, you know, now that LeVar now Ball that has, has um has gone, you know, on record um and talked um sp you know about the you know this Lakers team, LeBron. Um, number one, what are your actually? Can I play a LeVar Ball clip from when he? I mean, just like a little he bit of audio. He told no lies. Go ahead. A he told no lies. Hold on, he told see. not let me, what, let, me, besides, let, me, let, me, let me find it. The only lie he told was the yellow should be in the lead. No, yeah, yeah, LeVar, yellow, LeVar, yellow LeVar, do us a favor. Do, Jello, stop no, saying Jello that Jello shit, needs no. to be in playing anything but basketball but, for the JBA. Yeah, okay, Lamelo Lamelo deserves to be playing professional basketball for the JBA Association. Yes. Look, look. This is what Levar Ball said before the NBA trade deadline in terms of um, Lonzo Ball not being traded. Thinking you're gonna win a championship. LeBron James without Lonzo is not gonna win a championship. I told you that. I, I've been telling I, you I that. told you that. We don't like disagree. That. I told you that. Get Jello. No, 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 no. See, <laughs> that's when he get OC. Like, no, 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 Lavar. Lavar also was basically lobbying for Lonzo to go to Phoenix because he he felt offended um, that uh, uh, you know that the Lakers were trying to trade Lonzo. Honestly, Lavar Ball, you are a genius. Thank you for for sabotaging that um, Anthony Davis deal because they shouldn't have done it this year. They wanted too much. And Levar Ball, um, and honestly, like I said, Levar Ball had to slap Magic in order for in, in order for me to have to trade Lonzo. I still feel that way. And you know what Levar Ball did do the media? He slapped Magic. But guess what? By the time he he slapped Magic so close to the trade deadline, Magic couldn't even pull yeah, the trigger. Supposed, yeah, but no, nah, I he I we I, I don't think we really speak on it enough. Rondo has only played twenty one games this year. Jesus Christ. Anyway, um. Nah, I think I really think Lavar actually fucked up that deal, like dead ass. I think him saying I don't want to go to New Orleans was probably a huge reason as to why Anthony Davis is not a Laker right now. Yeah, I mean, like I know that people are saying like the Lakers, like the Pelicans were bluffing and all that. Yeah, but, but they wanted Lonzo. Yeah, Ball. I think yeah. And Lonzo and, said I'm not coming to play that. Every deal, Lonzo's name was in the deal, so that clearly means that they Who's box office. Lonzo, like nobody's gonna again, like in like in that trade, they already don't come to see. AD. AD, yeah. So you can't. Do, we got to think like this is New Orleans, bro. Like we not trading people to Phoenix. We not trading somebody to Boston to a basketball city in which people are gonna come regardless. You got to have a reason for them to come. Yeah. Ain't nobody coming to see Brandon Ingram do shoot mid range jumpers. I mean, bro. I've been telling you that I don't like seeing Brandon Ingram. I told you. I like, fuck with Brandon Ingram's game, but again, I'm a I basketball don't, savant. I, don't. I love I, basketball, I, but I'm a basketball savant. Get your I love dude with that no, ass out here. Oh, listen, basketball savant. Listen, so you're a rapper extraordinaire and a basketball savant. Yes. <laughs> but I love basketball. Like I willingly watch Hawks games. A lot of them. I mean, that's better than willingly watching Cavs games. I watch Cavs games. See, like a lot of them. As much as 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 much of it as I can stomach. So you need somebody who people will come to see. People will come to see Lonzo, and also I still think Lonzo, like I'm, like I'm with you. I think Lonzo has probably the most untapped potential in the league. Yeah, I just think that the Lakers aren't using him correctly a lot of the times. Like they basically have him playing shooting guard, and he's not a catch and shoot player. Yeah, he's not. At he's all. like that's not like if you do that, you take away what he's good at. He's good at pushing the ball up court. He's a, he's bigger than most guards. He's a great point guard defender, but he's not a two. If you want him to just sit there and just catch and shoot, you fucking up his game and and his confidence. Yeah. So I'm with Lavar when we say like they turn him into a loser. But he also they, said fire, fire Luke. But look, I'm with you with firing Luke, just not right now. The reason yeah, why but I'm they saying they get rid of Lonzo in the summer, and then by then it's too late. I mean, I, I, honestly, I think at this point it's probably best Lonzo moves on. Like, I would love no, to see Lonzo. Why? But look, listen, listen, li listen. I, why I, when LeBron loves Lonzo? No, look, listen. I would love to, I, I feel you, but if they aren't going to use him correctly, 
I would love to see Lonzo in Phoenix. If they're gonna use him correctly, please keep him. But don't, ha- but don't handicap the man's game. Trade Lonzo for Devin Booker. I, they wouldn't make that trade, and that that, that don't know. even match because the know. contract. I, mean, I, know, I know, I'm just fucking with you. I but I, I don't hate it. Like Devin Booker didn't play, and they damn near beat the Warriors, and Aiden took all the shots he needed to take. Yeah, Aiden had like twenty and damn, damn near had like twenty and a, excuse me, damn near had like twenty and a half. Yeah, when Booker went there. Yeah, so, so they actually passed that man the ball. Yeah, so all right, cool. Moving on from that, um, let's actually, you know, um, I want to more so talk about. Well, actually, you know what? I want to talk about because also, you know, on the episode of Hoops and Brews, uh, which if you were just listening to us, then you just heard Hoops and Brews. If you listen to the podcast version, now this is King Watch on the Hoops and Brews set because we don't want to move the table. Uh, the table that y'all bought. So shout out to y'all for um, keep supporting us. Go buy please, merch, yeah, please. Buy the merch. more merch you buy, the more we, the, the more, more things dope we things do. we can the more do. Things we can do. Exactly. So Go buy merch. Keep watching the video. Stop complaining about the ads. The ads, honestly, the ads help honestly, us make money. It's not even that. You shouldn't want to hear us talk continuously for two hours straight, anyways. You should want a break. Yeah, I be want a break. I should. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you. We wanna... get up and we leave for a reason. <laughs> we walk off set for a reason. Sometimes okay. Sometimes we just need a break. Sometimes you gotta get up out of there. Sometimes you gotta So you know, looking at um, you know, this Lakers team, right? Yeah. You've been telling me that you think that they need to tank. I don't think I'm they. Not, I'm, I'm not. I'm, no. 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 Okay. No. Stop. Well, well, no. Wait. 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 You were telling me that if they were injured, that you were thinking that they needed to tank. They're now 500 technically. What are your thoughts on the Lakers? And do you still feel as though at this point in time that they should tank in regards to finishing out the season, or do you think that they you need to put it. their heels down and LeBron need to stop being trash? And they need to go and start winning games. I think that they need to, again, try to win games. But if you get to, like, March 15th and you're not in the playoffs and guys are still hurt, I think you need to think about shutting it down. Now, you don't openly tank. I'm not saying you sit guys down. Like, you got LeBron in. When you, and anytime you, you, you have LeBron, you have a chance. Yeah. But the thing about LeBron is it wouldn't be the worst thing ever if they missed the playoffs. Here's why. For one, LeBron had eight straight finals runs. He's played a lot of basketball. This would be the longest break LeBron has got since he was 21. And he's getting older. He's coming off injury. Yeah. He even need a break. Yeah, uh, that, that would be like I, I like I think that like that could be something that you know how like when Mike um, took those two years. I mean, even though he played yeah. baseball, you still took two years. Like you weren't playing yeah. NBA basketball. I mean, even Joe Kim Noah, we saw what he did. Yes. He put up sometimes nineteen you and ten. Other break. Day. Man, so, I mean, sometimes Tibbs run you to the ground. Sometimes you need a break. Now, granted, I'm not saying that LeBron's watched anything like that, but still, I, uh, I think no, stop. But I think a break would be good. He got hurt for the first time. He got hurt, G. Like actually hurt. I've never seen like you. Like you obviously you might see him twist the ankle, yeah. miss a game here or there. But the man missed a month yeah. of basketball because he was hurt. I forgot what the man played like, G. Mm-hmm. So again, I it, it wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Even Lonzo, like Lonzo, like have a healthy off season. I mean, Kuzma he's, been banged. Uh, he's probably up. gonna get traded in the off season, but I whatever. Feel- but still, have a healthy off season. Kuzma been banged up. Everybody on this team has been hurt this year, dog. It would not be the worst thing on planet Earth to miss the play. Are you still going to get the free agent you want? You got money. Are you? Yeah. I, look, let's say whoever looks at this team and say, yo, I want to go I would love for them to actually get Middleton and put B.I. on the bench. Then you're formidable to me. Whatever, like whatever. I'm just Fine. saying. I'm, I mean, I'm not like I'm not saying anything negative about anything. I like, I, like they I need even, a two guard. So even not... be, even be as convinced me. I mean, you know, to keep him. And even looking at his numbers versus where other people that were better than him that I thought were better than him at the spot that he's at. Yes, we've jumped to conclusions, including myself, in terms of judging him. Uh, I don't necessarily, you know, I'm I'm not upset that they traded him, but I'm also not not upset that they tr- didn't trade him. Um, but I think that if you can get a guy like Middleton, make Bi your six man. And and then if you want to, then run the like you like the Warriors did with Iggy when they was playing them thirty minutes a game. You do that with you do that with them, and no, you run I a think, line of Alonzo, Middleton, Ingram, LeBron, and Kuzma. No, I mean that to me is a formidable lineup. Like, no, I, I mean personally, I think the only thing that the Lakers aren't missing if they do keep Lonzo would be a three and D shooting guard, which is why I said I think Clay needs to be at the top of the, of of your board. Obviously, you know Clay's father played for the Lakers. Yeah. I think Clay's Mikhail father is what a Thompson. announcer or something. Mm-hmm. He does something for the Lakers. Something like that. So, I so I, I I think that that would be like the best fit. Yeah. And in that case, then yeah, you would send Ingram to the bench, make him your six man, which wouldn't be the worst thing for Ingram. Like you get to play. First of all, six mans are important. Oh my iPad is dead. I hope it saved my email that I had in the draft. But oh. the time, but go ahead. First of all, six men are important. Yeah, go ahead. Second of all. 
<laughs> that just ruined my day because like I don't know if it just saved all the time codes that I say that I would be this. so fucked up but it's fine but I, mean, I don't care but again six men are important to me I told you he reminds me of Lamar Odom and I think that he could be the Lamar Odom of this Lakers team for the new generation and you're playing against the bench you Brandon Ingram coming off the bench will be better than most teams would 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 be the best player off both benches in 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 most games if you have Ingram coming off the bench yeah, other than Lou Williams he's better than Lou Williams no he's not because defensively no he's not you got to count you know bro you got to count in both sides of the basketball court. Lou Williams is one of the best fourth quarter scores in the NBA that's dope but defense G that's dope but that man was out there defending Kyrie and had Kyrie shaking that man hand. Verbally after the game. Yeah, but that's because Kyrie is Kyrie, and he ain't money in big games. Except what the fuck? I mean, not on his own team. He not. He ain't been money in big games on his own team. How has he not? How, when has he? What has he proved on his own? Nothing. That he can hoop. Nothing. When when whoa. He when do they lose because he didn't hoop? He didn't prove nothing on his. He hasn't proved anything. He been hobbled, and he ain't proved nothing yet. Let him huh? prove some first. On his he own, been on his own, he been, he been hobbled. Hooping. On his own, he been hobbled. He been hobbled. Let him prove some first. Huh? Let him get past the second round first. He'll Let him make it to a conference round. finals on his own team. Okay. I don't. It'll he, happen. He's, no, it's not happening this It'll year. It'll happen. Watch. It's not happening Watch. this year. They're not getting to the conference finals. Watch. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Depending Stop on where they play, it'll that. happen. They're not getting to the playoffs. Second best team. No. Pop, st- no. I still think Boston possibly has the best team in the East. No. Maybe second best. No. Look. No. Sorry. Stop disrespecting Kyrie. Sorry. Stop. Stop giving Brandon Ingram props for shutting down Kyrie. What do you had, mean? He's you told me he had an off night. Now all of a sudden it was. The I didn't say he had an off night. He, he got defended well. That's part of having an off night. I'm not saying that that man. No, no, no. I'm not like doing a thing in which he shot bad. Like, nah. They play good defense on him. Okay. You're not gonna shoot well every night. They play good defense on him. Okay. Brandon Ingram did a great job guarding Kyrie Irving. That's a very hard man to guard. Okay. So again, Brandon Ingram, if if he does come out the bench, will be better than most teams' six men. So, but but still, we'll it see. wouldn't it wouldn't be a worse thing if the Lakers missed the playoffs. It really wouldn't. People it really would. would but it, I it, no, it wouldn't. G. Like, look, I think that this again, it's a it's, it's a two year project. Magic even said it. It's a two year project. This was year one, and if they would have been healthy the whole year, their record would be different. When LeBron went down, they were what third in the conference. Uh, yeah, and then Rondo been out, then Lonzo been out. This has been a very injury. It's probably been this has probably been one of the weirder Lakers seasons. This season and the can't season, get no more weird than Robert Sacre being on your floor. But I feel no you. this season and the season when Steve Nash came and DJ Dwight. Mega. Yeah, and like they had no, 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 no. I no, no, the Steve Nash and um the White season was super weird. When Kobe tore the Achilles, yeah, because you actually had expectations and it just, the shit just didn't go right. Dwight yeah. was out there playing and couldn't feel his body. So this season has been yeah, weird and very. Got a torn ass. It's it's been weird and very injury riddled. It wouldn't be the worst thing to miss the playoffs. People would be mad, fans would be upset, but it wouldn't be the worst thing to miss the playoffs. I think everybody could use a break. All right. So um, next and last topic, um, because I want to like end this at like the two hour mark so that way it fits on our Dash Radio spot. Um, looking at Magic and Rob Palenka. Now we've we, we've made it through their um, what second trade deadline. Uh, they were able to get Reggie Bullock and uh, and Mike Muscala. Um, what do, what's your grade for Magic and Rob? Um, basically through through up to the trade deadline, coming off of period. I mean, honestly, it's hard to grade from them. off season to trade deadline. What's your grade? It's hard to grade them because they haven't been healthy. Like I, I haven't we've we've probably seen the team that, that that they actually put together like twice. Literally, the fourth, the fucking fourth game of the season, Brandon Ingram want to decide to be fucking, fucking Kimbo Slice and fight a man. Then Rondo getting, then Rondo gets suspended. Then he come back, sprain his ankle. Like I don't know, I yeah. don't know. Which is why I've said I don't think Luke deserves to be fired because, like, the team that was supposed to play has not played for the most part. Everybody, like, I'm, I'm looking. Hey, there is. They could have played. I think right now they they played fifty five games. Yeah. You know who the only people to play in fifty games are? Who? Hart, Lance, and Kuzma. Javale played forty eight. Lonzo forty seven. Brandon Ingram forty. I mean that's pretty Tyson damn. Chandler, that's 40. pretty damn close, bro. Huh? That forty seven and forty is pretty damn close to fifty, bro. But again, guys still that's been like, out. That's like but me look, complaining because somebody I played seventy no, seventy seven instead of eighty games. Like, ooh. but no, bro, guys still been out. 
Like in and out the lineup. We got a whole new team. We don't have time for people to be in and out the lineup. That's hard. You don't even know who playing every single night. LeBron has played 37 games. Rondo played 21. 21 yeah, Rondo's games. Rondo's a bench guy. But he's still important. Like certain things wouldn't happen if Rondo's there because he steadies the fucking game. He's a veteran. It's fucking Rondo. Look, your best player has played 37 games. You're not going to be great. Period. Can you imagine if that Cleveland team can, can, like, can you imagine that Cleveland team last year if LeBron don't play 82 games? You're not winning. You're, you're dead ass not winning. You're not winning, bro. I don't think they're going three and seven over Shit, ten. Games well, are, are you fucking sure? I don't think they're going three and seven. That Cleveland team last year? Yeah, I don't think yes, they're going the fuck three they seven. would. Not in the East. Yes, they no, would. No, they're not. Kevin Love. Gee, is still they out went there. like three and seven over stretch with LeBron. Kevin Love is still out there. Kevin Love was out there sometimes. Yeah, true. Kevin Love was hurt. Kevin Love was out there sometimes. He missed like twenty games last year. He came back and played six minutes the other night. He always hurt. So, again, I don't even know what to grade them because I haven't even seen the team that they constructed on the floor. But if I had to put a grade on it, I mean C+. Plus, I can't give you an A, obviously, but like C+, plus maybe. I mean, I give them a B for the simple fact that you took LeBron James and LeBron James signed. Regardless of what people want to say about his business acumen, he still had to sign on the dotted line. He did sign on the line. And he still had to have that conversation with Magic and have to trust Magic enough to want to come to the Lakers. Mm -hmm. um, like, he didn't trust Dan Gilbert. We all knew that that was very abundantly clear. Um, and... You know, he didn't really fuck with Pat Riley like that. So the fact that him and Magic Johnson found a common rapport and LeBron James signed to your franchise, you instantly got what, you know, what everybody was saying was the best player, but is no longer the best player in the NBA. Um, one of them. LeBron, he's one of them, but he's, 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 he's top five, but he's not top three anymore. Um, I think Giannis and Harden are better. I think Steph Curry is better than him. No, now. he's I think not. Paul Stop. George is better than him right Stop. now. Stop. Right now, I think stop. Is Steph a top five Joel, player right now? Joel Embiid is better than LeBron James right now. I'm like LeBron might be like it. number eight right no, now. No, he's he, not. Yeah, he's he's, he's no starting to get no. moved down that line. He's no he less is. than no. He's no. He's yes, no he less is. than four. If you want to go four, no. Steph Curry is. Not, Steph yes, Curry has is. never been a time no, where Steph Curry is better than LeBron. Yes, no, he is. he's better than LeBron. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. No, he is not. Yes, he is. He's the third best player this year in the NBA behind James Harden. No, he is not. And Joel Embiid is behind him at number four. No, he is not. Paul George at number five. No, he is not. Yes, he is. No, yes, he is. No, LeBron is not. No, stop. LeBron, look. Yes, he is. If you want to say Harden and Giannis. Giannis and KD, I'm fine with that. No, KD is number else. No, no, no. KD is number six. LeBron is You're number seven. You're wild. No, I'm KD's not. KD's that low to you? Yeah. You're wild. This year, yes. You're wild. I, did you hear what I said? I said Giannis. I said Harden. I said Curry. I said Paul George. And I said um and, and Joel Embiid. They're all having better years than Kevin Durant. Do he have your 27 fucking points a night? They're still having better years I than know him. No, they're not. Joel Embiid is having the 27 a night. Steph Curry is having the 27 a night. Steph, Steph Curry's having, having a better year than KD. Yes, he no, is. he is not. He's damn near average. He was damn near averaging 30 for most of the season. You're wild. So was Kevin Durant. Come on, man. No, he wasn't. KD was averaging and 27. He's been there the whole year. No, sorry, but no. No, sorry. But anyways, that's been the end of the show. Um, but if you listen to the podcast, um, you know, that was rounded out King Watch. We also did Hoops and Brews in the same episode. Um, but if I had to give them a grade for the final, um, I'm just going to, I'm honestly just going to give them a grade of, um, of a, said a, B. I said a B. So, I mean, that is what that is. That's been Hoops and Brews. Appreciate you guys for watching Hoops and Brews slash King Watch combination. Um, yeah, man. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. It's your Shout boy TPJ. Out. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Real TPJ. That's R E E L T P J. It's a film joke if you're gonna get it, you damn dummy. Um, as always on Hoops and Brews or, or King Watch, you can find us on Twitter at Hoops and Brews. Um, that's Hoops. Um, the, the you know the letter in the word Brews. Search us anywhere you can find us. As always, this show co-stars um basketball savant and rapper extraordinaire Take Pavi. Summer. Uh, 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 Pavi uh, Summer. Um, um, we have we have NBA Savant and rapper extraordinaire Pavi Summer. Um, go ahead, get your plug in. As always, man, follow me on Twitter at Pavi World. That's P A V Y World, all one word. Instagram is the same. Make sure you go get Roller Deck City. It's out right now. Make sure you go get uh, Paverse Volume One. That's also out right now. Lacroix Video. Valentine's Day. Yeah. Um, and on that note, because it's hoops and brews, we usually say peace out. So I'm gonna pay, so I'm gonna say peace out. And for King Watch, what do we normally say? LeBron. That was a weak LeBron. I mean, come on, I mean, come on. Give, give me a real LeBron. LeBron. Okay. Yeah.